Hi Saba family, welcome back to the event of Saba 2025, the biggest, most exciting cybersecurity tradition of the year. Honestly, every December just hits differently when the whole world comes together to learn, hack, grow, and push our skills further, one challenge at a time. And can we talk about how incredible this year's advert is? We're learning completely for free, the content quality is insane, and the energy across the community have been unmatched. Plus, try hack me stepping things up again with over 150,000 worth of prices, ranging from your industry standard certification, your devices, your swag, your vouchers, and surprises flying all around. It truly feels like Cyber Christmas, if you ask me. So shout out to everyone who have already been delving in, staying consistent, sharing solution, helping others and keeping the spirit alive. It honestly feels amazing being part of this global learning movement where beginners and experts, they sit in the same room, solving challenges side by side. All right, now that we are here all warmed up, let's jump straight into today's challenge, which is day 13 it is super fun one because it is it, it blends storyline detective work and yara rules and trust me once you understand this work you will feel like a real third hunter so are you ready let's get into it welcome to day 13 where you'll be learning how yara rules can be used to detect anomalies so before we hop into day 13 we first start by the story when Maskiri went missing, there was chaos and uncertainty at the Best Festival Company. However, even in her disappearance, Maskiri was trying to help the TBFC Blue Team, taking Paige out of crisis communication process. Maskiri sent what looked like a bunch of images to the Blue Team from an anonymous location. These images looked like they were related to Easter preparation but they contained message sent by Maskiri. The crisis communication process outlines that a message must be sent through a folder of images containing hidden messages that can be decoded if you know the keyword. The blue team has to create a Yara rule that runs on the directory containing the images. The Yara rule must trigger on a keyword followed by a code word. After extracting the code word in ascending, uh, order the blue team will be able to decode the message so this is our story we read through it so i'm just going to give you uh, my understanding based on what we read right it talks about uh Maskiri, the lead uh, defender of the tbfc the best festival company suddenly goes missing uh chaos is breaking out in the sock but even while she's gone Maskiri still finds a way to help the blue team she secretly sends them a folder full of easter themed image at first glance they seem normal but hidden inside are messages she wants the blue team to decode using crisis communication process she sends these images with hidden information therefore our task as defender is to find these messages using yara by completing this challenge we need to based on the learning objective we need to be able to understand the basic concept of Yara, learn uh, when and why we need to use Yara rules, exploring different types of Yara rules, and le learn how, how to write Yara rules. And we have a practical, we're going to do a practical test where we practically detecting malicious indicator using Yara. And based on the information we are given, uh, attack machine today, let's just start it. Remember to go through everything that is provided. I'm just going to give you a brief walkthrough of everything. So let's start by what is Yara and why does Yara matter? Yara is like a digital detective notebook. Instead of dusting for fingerprint, it scans code, file, and memory for pattern that indicate malware. Defenders use Yara for uh, threat hunting across system, post-incidence analysis, memory forensic, and detecting known and new malware, and they also use it to share detection with other defenders. So, there are key advantages of Yara. The, on the speed, 
The speed is for scanning large file set quickly. And then on the fle flexibility, flexibility, uh, they use it to detect test, hex, regex, pattern, or even complex logic. And then on the control, the control is where you define what is malicious. Then on the shareability, the shareability is like the rules that can be reused across terms. On the visibility, the visibility connects clues into a full picture. So instead of waiting for antivirus update, you can detect threats on your own terms. Now we talk about Yara rules. Now that we understand what Yara is and when to use it, it's time to see how it can actually work. Yara rule is built from several key elements. We have the metadata. On the metadata, we get information about the rule itself. Things such as who created it, which is the author. When was it created? The date of it and for what purpose? Then we get the string. This is where we get clues Yara searches for. For example, text, byte sequence or regular expression that marks suspicious content. Then we get the condition. The condition is the logic that decides when the rule, tri rule triggers com uh, combining multiple strings or parameter into a single decision. Okay, now getting into the Yara practical part. Remember to read through everything, the information that is given, because from that information, you know how to go about it. So on our Yara practical part, it says it's time to complete the practical task. We have already deployed our attack machine. We have already opened it on a full screen um, so that you'll be able to see properly. And then now it says uh, the blue team has to search for the keyword, the TBFC double column, followed by any by an ASCII alphanumerical keyword across the this path. So let's just copy the path directory, path of the directory. Then let's come here and say CD, then control V to copy the path and then let's enter. Then let's list out what is in there. Oh, the, we see a lot of images. Then let's go back. We have already, we are in the directory to extract the message sent by uh, Mosquiti. Can you help decode the message sent by Mosquiti? Then the first question says, how many images contain the string TBFC? So first, we're going to have to create the, uh, the, um, the Yara rule. Let's just control L to clear our screen so that you'll be able to see. Then we go nano uh, TBFC dot ER. We are now creating the rule. Okay, now we're creating the rule. I had already created my rule uh, based while I was reading the information that is given uh, by Chua Hack Me. So I'm just going to control V and then I'm going to explain the rule to you. So this rule, this Yara rule is like the little detective looking inside the file. First, it checks if the file is a window program by looking for special MZ letters, like MZ in capital letters, like MZ letter at the very start. It's like checking if a book has the right cover before open it. Then next, the rule look for a secret code inside the file, a special pattern of numbers and letters called bytes. Some part of the code have wild card that can be anything so it's looking it's like looking for a puzzle where a few piece can change if the file has both the window cover and the secret code the rule says aha i found it so now we have the rule we can now say control control o yes and then we can say enter and then we can say control x to exit there we go we have done that now let's do like let's check uh this second step okay we have now looked for any string with the tbfc uh double color now it's time for us to follow up by one or more of a numerical character this is exactly what mosquito hit inside the character so now we're gonna run the uh the yara rule recursively so we're gonna go by yara dash r you're gonna know what is dash r if you did go through everything that is given and then i'm gonna just tap and then enter oh no i forgot something 
let's go again and then just put a comma there so that it goes and then there we go then we see here's the files that are contained the first question said something about how many images contain the string tbfc right and then now we can see that this string already uh, contain it so how many are they one two three four five so let's type in five and then enter that's correct well done we did that uh, if you want to see the actual uh, matching string which we do not need for this question we can just go back like we don't need it but we can go like this and then we can come and add no 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 here and then enter do you see now it gives you like more information but this information is so good for us because um you will help us with something but i'm not going to tell you yet now we have let's hop into our next question it says our next question says what regex would you use to match a string that begin with a tbfc double column followed by one or more of a numeric ascii character for this one if we do not know we can use the hint there we can use the hint um have we been given the hints yes it says have a look it says have a look at the example in the regular expression string section and tweak it to your needs so let's go to the regular expression string to look at that because it's so important that we do that regular expression string here this is the part and then it says you can tweak if you remember let me just go back if you do remember we can just use uh, let me first clear my screen control l and then upper arrow upper arrow and then enter if you remember this is the this is the yara rule that we created right and if we look at over here on the regular expression this part we can we can already tell that is this is a regex let me just from the hint that is provided here is the information then we come back we can tell before like this is a regex uh, regex detection and then we can come back here and look at our own rule and then we can see that based on the hint this is our answer we can just copy and then come to paste here it is so important for you to read every information that is provided because then you will know where to find it and then let's check and boom we got it then the last question says what is the message sent by mosquito this part needs you to be very smart let's just control x oh no uh, control x to exit uh, save modify we didn't modify anything and then in time and then let's control l to clear then let's use upper arrow we did run this command right but then there's this part that i want you to be aware of we now need to pull out just the tfc double colon if you can see we already having hints over here here's one here's two the string of it Here's three, here's four, and then here's five. Those are the extract, uh, extracting all hidden code words and sort them out, right? So now we just need to go and sort them out based on it. Let me just try to move it so that I'll be able to see it from my split screen. You just move the terminal here. Over here, let's use the words that we already found. So let's start with find because that's the first uh, four words. And then let's use in two words. And then let's use me to another two words. We could have said find me in or said find. Okay, let's actually say that. Find me and then another two words in. Um, and then the other one is how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's use hop 
sec i wonder if it's case sensitive okay now that we found the word the message we can now just say check this challenge shows how powerful yara is for uncovering hidden indicator whether you are analyzing malware or you're scanning files during an investigation remember the advert of saba is for free it's beginner friendly and there's so much to win this year from certification to devices to amazing swags so you want to invite your friends you want to join the rooms together and you want to grow in saba as a community thank you so much for watching do do not forget to share your your badge on your social media platform do tag try hack me and do tag me as well i would love to connect with you i can't wait for you to you to share this amazing news with your community from my family to yours happy christmas and beautiful uh year ahead of us